guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'll be sharing with you guys some pick monkey life hacks. All these hacks are hacks that I've picked up over the past couple of months, and they've definitely helped when editing things on PicMonkey. If you don't know what PicMonkey is, it's pretty much a website that a lot of YouTubers use to edit things like thumbnails, channel art, and overlays, and like way more things. It's way easier than Photoshop, so it's like the baby of Photoshop, but it gets you all the things that you need. I hope this video helped you guys because when I first started PicMonkey, I kind of struggled to edit things. So without further ado, let's get started. The first life hack I have for you guys is if you want to remove the background around an overlay just because you might not like it or something like that, all you have to do is click on the actual overlay, then click on the erase button next to the basic button, and then you can um, adjust the size of the eraser. At the bottom, I recommend adjusting the size of the eraser hardness all the way down or at least low enough that way it's not very harsh and then you can erase around the overlay and if you ever get to parts that have really small parts you can't get to you can make the eraser size smaller that way you can get into those parts so if you mess up you can always click on the paintbrush next to the eraser and you can fill in the parts that you mess up so yeah that's very helpful. If you ever wonder how YouTubers get that glow around the letters on the thumbnail, the way they do that is, is you go to the uh, magic wand, click on the magic wand, and scroll all the way to the bottom where it says draw, and you click on draw. You can pick whatever color, paintbrush color you want, and adjust the size of the paintbrush to the size of your letters. Then you can draw around your letters and mess around with that. And it looks pretty cool because it makes like the letters pop more as if they were just plain without anything. The next life hack is for getting an ombre overlay background. Go on Google and type in um, ombre background tumblr or something like that and you can look for whatever background you want and if you have a macbook you can just drag it to the home or just save it to your computer. Then you want to go to your pig monkey page, um, click on the butterfly icon which is the overlay icon and get whatever overlay you would like. Then click on your own overlay, which is all the way at the top, and when you click on that, you can select whatever ombre overlay you would like. You can move this around to whatever part of the ombre background you would like. Click on the ombre overlay, and where it says blend modes, on the basic side, you want to click on add, and this automatically makes your background overlay a ombre. If you didn't know, you can also make your text ombre, pretty much like the same thing as making your background overlay. Do is go on Google and search up ombre background. Save this to your computer also. Then go on PicMonkey and go to the text section, add text, like and type whatever you want. And go to overlays, which is a butterfly icon. Import your overlay from your computer onto PicMonkey. Click on it, then go to blend modes and click add. It automatically just like makes your text ombre. If you don't like any of the PicMonkey transparent overlays, you can actually get your own by going on Google and typing in um, Tumblr PNG or like whatever you want PNG. The background would be transparent. Then you can save it onto your computer. Go on your PicMonkey page and go on the overlays button, your own overlay, and get that overlay and put it in your picture and all the parts that where transparent will like your actual background will show. Oh, this is really helpful and it saves a lot of time it just and money just if you don't want to buy the premium version. This next hack is a hack I can't stop emphasizing because I feel like a lot of people that start off using PicMonkey to make thumbnails make this mistake. Like the PicMonkey thumbnail size. A lot of people just use a square and that's not what you're supposed to be using. It doesn't cover up the whole like thumbnail rectangle thing it just makes the rest of it blank or like black and only a square it will be showing to make the whole thumbnail like fully covered you want to go to custom and type in 1280 by 720 and this will get you the perfect thumbnail size because it's really important and I feel like it attracts more people versus just having a square like thumbnail which is kind of hard to see this next life hack is a three-in-one life hack because it has three things to accomplish like the same goal which is to have a longer background overlay if you have an overlay imported from Google or online and you try to drag it, it just gets bigger instead of getting longer. The way you fix this is by right clicking on the overlay and then going all the way down to where it says duplicate overlay and you click that. You can drag the overlays next to each other. It's kind of messy and it's not very neat. Go to the side where the two arrows are pointing opposite directions and this will mirror the image like the overlay and when you do this you can put them next to each other. It's still not like completed. Right click again or control click send the image to the back and you can like move them closer to, to each other or further away from each other 
and this is like the perfect overlay and the perfect way to get two overlays to go together. This next life hack is something you probably already know, but just in case people, some people might not know it, it is to use the um, arrow keys instead of you're like dragging the overlay around, you might not get the exact spot you want it to be in. So if you use the arrow keys, you can get it like more specifically where you want it in your picture. That was this video and if you guys enjoyed, let me know by giving it a thumbs up because I just love sharing all these information with you guys and life hack videos are really helpful. Also don't forget to subscribe to my channel to, so you don't miss out on more videos because I'm going to have more exciting videos coming up. So yeah, that's all for today's video. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.